Howdy, boys and girls. Welcome to lesson 5-2. Um, in this lesson, we're going to be looking on how to uh, change a fraction into a mixed number or how to identify mixed numbers. So as you can see, we're going to use polygons, such as regular polygons, hexagons, triangles, number 3. We, there we have a, a parallelogram or a rhombus, a number 4, or trapezoid. And we're going to break them up so that we can make mixed numbers. All right, let's get started. Okay, let's start with the example. As we see here that a circle is worth one. So what is what do we have here? We have one circle, two circles, and then we see that the circle got, up, got cut into four parts and one part is missing. So a circle, the whole circle is four parts. So what I see that we have there is we actually have two circles, okay? And then we have three parts of a circle out of four, right? Because here we have four parts. The circle was cut into four, and that's what we're showing here. But we only have three. One, two, three. So there's the three. So it's two and three quarters, okay? As you can see there, okay? Here they decided to do it differently. They decided to cut all the circles into four parts, as so, okay? So they did that, as you can see right here. So here we have 4, plus 4 is 8, plus 3 is 11. So it's 11 over 4. It's over 4 because each circle is cut up into 4. And then over here you can see that how many 4s do you have in 11? You have 8, I mean 2, so to make 8. And then you have 3 left over, and that's why you have 2 and 3 thirds. Okay, let's try that over here. For the following problems below, the hexagon shape is worth one. This hexagon is worth one. Okay, that's our entire thing. Well, here we have a little fraction of that. Okay, what is this worth? How many of these are in the hexagon? Well, if you guys can draw some straight lines, let's see if I can do it. We can break up our hexagon. Uh, clearly, I can't do it. But there's your idea, okay, of what we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six of these in a hexagon, six triangles in a hexagon. So let's go ahead and write that there. We have over here we have one over one. Okay, over here we have one out of six. Or sorry, this should have been six over six, right? Which is one over one, which is equals to one. Over here we have one sixth. On this one you can see that we have two triangles, so it's 2 out of 6, right? But that needs to be simplified. There are There is 1, 2 here and 3, 2's here. Remember that they're both divisible by 2, so you must divide them by 2 in order to simplify, so it's actually 1 third. Got it? Okay, let's look here. Here we have one triangle this way, another triangle this way. So we actually have three triangles out of the full 6 on our hexagon. But we all know that 3 is half of 6, or 1 is half of 2. So it's actually a half, okay? Now I want you to go ahead and copy this down exactly as I have done it, okay? Right here, showing um, the, f the whole, the simplified version and the answer, okay? The, the first fraction in the simpl simplest form the fraction, and again, the same fraction as the simplest form. Go ahead and copy this down exactly as you have it. This is our key answer. And so I know that you've watched this video. Go ahead and draw this mustache that you see there. That is your key answer. Instead of a star, we're going to do a, uh, a mustache this time. Okay, let's continue on. For number five, we have to write the mixed number and then the fraction. Keep in mind that the fraction is going to be an improper fraction because all mixed numbers are improper fractions. We see here that we have, again, one full hexagon. Okay, so let's write the number one. And then we have uh, a, the small triangle, and we already identified that we can fit si six of these in a full hexagon, so it's out of six. So now we have one out of the next six. Okay, or one of sixth part of the next hexagon, so it's one out of six. Okay. How would you write that as a fraction? Well, as a fraction, you know that you have to multiply 6 times 1 plus 1, and that will give you your, your numerator. 
okay, and you keep the same denominator. So 6 times 1 equals 1, plus 1 equals 7. So we have 7 over 6, okay. Let's go ahead and do the last one together, and then you can do the ones in between, okay. Uh, don't forget, boys and girls, that over here on this rhombus, you have two little triangles, sorry, okay. And over here in the trapezoids, you have three triangles like that. One, two, three. Okay, don't forget that. Let's try the last one together. I see that we have one, two, three, and three quarters. Okay, this one got broken into three quarters. That's quite simple. So I'm going to write three and three out of four. Okay, because we're only missing this one piece here out of four. Okay, what would that look like as a, an improper fraction? What is 4 times 3 plus 3? All right, let's do that. 4 times 3 equals 12 plus 3 equals 15 over 4. And there you have it, boys and girls. Go ahead and do the ones in between. Okay? Next page. For the next page, boys and girls, go ahead and take a look at the key. They, they're telling you that a triangle is worth one quarter, one part of four. So here is one quarter. Remember here that you have two triangles, right? Two triangles. So that's actually two out of four. But we don't say two out of four because two out of four is half. One over two, right? And then over here you have three of them, right? So now it's three out of four, right? Go ahead and solve these next two questions and the number three using this information. We'll check this in class. Number four. We are asked to arrange the blocks, okay, arrange your blocks to make a shape that is worth two and a half. Trace the outside of each block that is part of your shape or use your geometry template. Label each part with a fraction. Okay, boys and girls, I'm going to do one for you, and that's going to be one of the key answers. The second one, I'll make one here, and the second one that you make on your own, if you make it and it is correct, uh, you can move your name up tomorrow on our behavior chart. Okay, let's do mine, and I'll explain it. Okay, here's my shape. Let's try to make some sense of this. We understand, okay, let me zoom in a little so I can write in there. We understand that these are worth one quarter, right? This is one quarter. Uh, this one over here is also another quarter. And we know that this one has three triangles in it, right? Like that. So this one is worth three quarters, the trapezoid. Another one quarter, right? Uh, over here we have another three quarters. And over here we have another one quarter. And we have to make sure that this adds up to two and a half. Well, let's check. Does it add up? One quarter plus one quarter is 50% or 50 cents or half. Another quarter plus another quarter is another half. So this with this equals one. So, so far, if we cover this one with this one, with this one, and with this one, we have one, a whole. Plus three quarters, okay, over here. three quarters plus three quarters. Three quarters plus three quarters is one and a half, right? 75 plus 75 percent is 150, so it's actually one and a half. Okay, one and a half. Well, one plus one equals two and a half is two and a half. And there you have it, boys and girls, is this equals two and a half right okay I want you to go ahead and copy this one down okay this is our second key answer as you can see there by our Movember mustache go ahead and make your own on this side if you do it and it equals two and a half using um, your shapes quarters you could also use halves and you can use three quarters if you can make it then you get to move your name up tomorrow. Okay, let's try number five. Use your blocks to cover this shape, this irregular shape that we have here. 
It's a polygon. It closes and it has all uh, straight lines, so it's, a, it's an irregular polygon. And we're going to try to use our shapes, triangles, trapezoids, and rhombuses, to cover it all. Trace the outline of each block and label each part with a, with a fraction. How much is the shape worth? Okay, how much is it worth? I'm going to make my own. Now, boys and girls, you can make a straight line across this way and make triangles all along the way, okay? Like that, triangles all across, and you can all add it up. I'm gonna make my own, okay? Try to make yours different from mine. Here's mine. There. Now, um, add the values, okay? I'm going to add the values to mine. Now, you can see that mine's very irregular. It doesn't follow really any pattern. But I just wanted to see how many different patterns I could fit in. So now I'm going to add the values. There. Okay, we have a half over here because remember that this is true triangle. So a quarter plus a quarter equals a half. And then I have a quarter here, a quarter here. I have three quarters here, three out of four triangles. There's one here, two there, and then your third one there, three. Again here, one, two, and three. Okay, so it's three quarters. Here I have two of them, one there and one there. So it's a half. And then here I just have one all by itself, which is a quarter. Okay, so what is my all of this worth? Try to figure that one out. Well, you make your own and figure it out. I'll tell you the value of mine. If I count all the quarters, I actually have 13 quarters. Okay, 13 little triangles out of, which is over four right because it's one out of four each triangle but I have 13 triangles or if I want to count it as a whole I have three of them and one little triangle out of four how many fours are in 13 three what do I have left over one because four times three is 12 with one left over and there we have it boys and girls go ahead and make your own and see how many triangles you can squeeze in Okay, boys and girls, I think that's good enough for today. Let's stop right there, and we will do the next two pages tomorrow in class. Okay? I hope you like my mustache. Bye-bye. To clarify, pages 126 and 127 will be completed in class.